What's up everyone? This is the raw truth coming at you with another video. You know, one thing when I do this, these videos, I always want to talk about topics that uh, affects our communities all around uh, United States of America. And as I'm starting to see, this is, has ventured overseas. So I bring up topics and things that may come up to mind, you know, offer my opinion to it. And then solicit other people's opinions or thoughts that may, you know, that they may have. And one thing, you know, even though it's my opinion, it's my own, as people will call it, self-conjecture. One thing that I understand is that a lot of times when I'm given my opinion is backed up by cases after cases after cases. So therefore, it's like it's a validated opinion. And one thing I want to talk about is. The black man's love for quoting that they been in prison. Black man love for being in prison. You know, brags about it a whole lot. You know, take a journey with me. When you're on the street corners, I've noticed when I'm walking down the street, I may be, uh, and I'm living in West Philly, and um, I've noticed that walking down the streets, I've have seen or heard brothers talk about you no know, how they've been upstate how they've been upstate there how they've been upstate how they've been in prison how they did time how they did five years how they did 10 years how they did 15 years oh i just got done doing 20 and, you know and, and as they are explaining this stuff you know they are explaining how many years they've did upstate they were boasting and bragging about it and one thing that i could never understand is you know, for the life of it is that they not only was bragging about it, but you see no remorse and you hear no remorse coming out of them. But they were constantly, constantly saying it over and over and over many of times as if that's the validates them as if it proves their manhood that they've been in state for all these years, whether it's two years, five years. 15 years, it doesn't matter. They all come out with the attitude of boasting and bragging about it. And that's the danger in our community. And the reason why that's a danger to our community is a danger to our community because we got a lot of people who is unrepentant bragging about being incarcerated. What is it to brag about being incarcerated? Let's see. Let's look at some of the things that these people have been in prison for. Let's look at the drug dealers. The drug dealers selling drugs in the corner. When they selling drugs in the street, what did that uh, accomplish for them? It accomplished them money, but it deteriorates our neighborhood. How does it deteriorates our neighborhood? Number one, the drug dealers have corners. Number two, they fight over the corners. You know what I'm saying? They're fighting over this street or fighting over this, that street, saying it's their territory. But when a white man shows up, they really realize that it's not really their territory. You know, so they're fighting over the street. And a lot of the time when they're fighting, these drug dealers be shooting one another. They're killing one another. And the majority of times, who gets hooked up in that killing? Innocent people. Got that little girl or little boy walking down the street. And all of a sudden, because the drug dealers cannot aim, they have a gun to kill their target. But they cannot aim. And what happens? They wind up shooting innocent people. So they wind up murdering people in the community. They wind up murdering other people in their community or even attempted murder so when you look at it they're robbing people like crazy that's also what's in prison they're robbing they're thieving why are they robbing well a lot of times people thieve because of what the habits that they get from the drug dealers notice that these and the drug dealers are in there they're robbing people because times is hard and they need money some people just rob people because they need power over somebody and you know that's in prison too look at the Look at the assault, the domestic violence, the beating, the beating up on people. Look look at the, these crimes that these people in prison. And you mean to tell me that none of them have a repentance heart? But every single time I'm hearing people talk about that they've been upstate as to brag about it. And you know what's the sad part about it? I speak a lot in my videos about it, but I got to hit home to it. Black woman. 
You are responsible for this too. You know why? Because these same brothers that is being upstate, that is being in prison, are the same brothers that you made it with. It's the same people that you bring children into this world with. It's the same people that you uplift like crazy. Remember, there's so many books on thug loving or standing by your thug or every thug needs a good woman. And it's always you women who are supporting them. You don't support good men at all, but you can spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on books dealing with thug. And the thug is actually the ones going to prison. Yes, the pants sagging, hanging niggas are the ones who go into prison. These thugs out here really don't care about the neighborhood, but you black women love them so when they come out they have to feel validated why they have to be, feel validated well if you do time then you and, you and you did the crime you do time that oh he's a gangster oh yeah he's hardcore this and he's hardcore that so I'm hearing a lot more people brag on how long they've been in there. But see, here's where I come in. See, a real man like me will look at that and find them very, very bullshit. You know why it's bullshit? I'm going to tell you why it's bullshit. Because if you ain't, if you're not repentance for what you have done in their community and wanting to change community, all that what you said is nothing. You got to understand, when you're bragging about being in prison, I have yet to hear anybody say, well, I was in prison for 15 years, and I realized what I did was terrible, and it's so terrible, I just don't want to go back no more. This is what I do. And why don't you go out there, brothers, and touch people's lives like that? If you're going to brag about how long you've been in there, but see, you bragging about it, you normally throw in hints of you want to mess somebody up, or you want to kill somebody, which you come out of prison and not learn. You are not learned. Prison is not rehabilitating. And our brothers are coming from prison. Do not want to be re rehabilitated at all. So black men who are incarcerated. You have a love for doing time. Because that validates you. See and this kind of funny. And hypocrisy in itself black women. Because you black women love to spread your legs. You know with these type of niggas and stuff. But y'all the same ones who whenever somebody's talking about you or about behavior, y'all the ones who's talking about, oh, you've been to jail. But see, a lot of these jailbirds are having sex with y'all. Remember the case in Baltimore where a guy slept with 13 security guards and four of them got pregnant. You mean to tell me you can't, you know, you black woman can't find a good man out there that y'all always got to resort now, I see why a lot of others brag about being incarcerated or being in prison. Maybe he does it just to get your love or get your attention, black woman. <laughs> Let's see. The millions and billions, like I said, millions and billions of dollars is being spent on books dealing with thug loving or how to love your thug or being, being part of a thug's life. Really, it's being part of a piece of shit nigga life because you're looking at that man as a think, oh, I can do this for him. Well, my stuff is so good, I can change him. You ain't changing no man. If that was, the, if that was correct, why is our prisons full? <laughs> So black man has a lust to tell you women, look, I did time, so this validates me. And you think he's hardcore, but he comes out with the same mind, further destroying our communities. I have yet to see these brothers who claim to be in prison for 15 years doing all that time and, and, and go out there and actually touch people. I don't see it whatsoever. I really don't see it whatsoever. So black man, you have a lust for that. You need to get over that too as well. And a lot of black men, and I got to say it, that are in prison is due to a black woman. Why is it due to a black woman? I'm going to tell you why. Because black woman, you can do something that we can't do. See, if we get on the phone and call a cop because you're domestic violence in us, then we're not going to get that help. But see, you can get on the phone and we can be out of there. And a lot of kids that is growing up being a thugs and stuff, and gang banging and stuff, a lot of them is doing it to support your habit, black woman. You know, you get the flat screen color television and everything like that, so you really don't give a damn about what your son is doing because you're reaping the benefits. How is it that so many black women in Chicago don't have jobs, don't have a nothing going on, they're not unproductive like crazy, but yet they're having flat screen television color television and they're having the best things and the best equipment like crazy because they are reaping the benefits off of their sons uh, going out there you, you speak to some of these kids 
who are in the gang mentality or wanting to be gangsters and stuff, a lot of them are telling you, look, I'd rather have a job where I can just go to and work. I'd rather have a job, but my mom needs this and my mom needs that. So a lot of times kids are being burdened to be in a situation that they don't need to be in. A lot of times kids are in burden to take care of a home because mama ain't doing her job. Mama go out there and spread her legs to these guys, these same niggas who brag about being in prison and stuff like that. And look what they, look what's coming out. I mean, everybody get mad when we stress out what stress what's going on in our community. But hey, you gotta be. It, it needs to be faced on face. It needs to be talked about, and it needs to be dealt with. A lot of kids don't want to be out there drug selling. A lot of kids don't want to be out there in the streets because a lot of them are scared. You gotta understand, a lot of kids have their manhood being taken away from them by their mothers, and also when you join a gang, you get stripped of that anyway. You get initiated in. Then you gotta fight for. Maybe two or three minutes. A lot of people ganging up on you. You got to prove yourself through violence. Can't you understand what's happening? And some of these guys are in prison coming out and bragging about them being in prison for 15 years. And the first thing they want to do is knock a nigga brain off. It's because a lot of times their manhood got taken from them in prison. Oh, yes. Majority of you guys who sit up there and brag about the how long you've been in prison. And how you're the bad boy and stuff like that can woo these women. But we all know that behind prison doors... Behind you being upstate, you was a punk. You had your manhood taken away from you. Now you're looking for somebody so you can get your manhood back because you haven't dealt with your issues that happened to you in prison. You haven't dealt with the issues of why you even got arrested even to go to prison. You haven't dealt with that. What you did is you wasted time. You tried to build up a fake character or a fake counterfeit of yourself knowing that you can never look yourself in the mirror because every time you look yourself in the mirror, it hurts you. It makes you mad and angry. Because every time you look in the mirror, you see somebody that you hate, you see somebody that you cannot relate to, you see somebody that's a failure who is busted and disgusted. So you have to come up with this facade. You have to come up with this way or this idea and this character to make you feel good about yourself. And so when you go into the neighborhood and you start telling how long you've been in prison and you start telling stories and stuff like that as if you've been through hard times when you got in prison because you put your community to a hard time you can't seem to relate to anything so how am i going to take you serious when i sit down with you and we have a disagreement and we have and all of a sudden that disagreement turns to what let's go outside or disagreement turns into what i will fuck you up is this agreement coming to what oh you gay in this are you gay in that are you redirecting what happened to you in upstate that's why you're coming at me like that so you can get away with with a lot of people but you can't play that here with me Black men, you got a love for prison and a love of being incarcerated to validate yourself. You want to validate yourself, black man? I want you to reach these children and pull these children up and be honest for once in your doggone life. I get sick and tired of hearing people talking about back in the days it wasn't like that or sick and tired of seeing people talking about, well, these kids are like this for this reason and this reason and never looked at them damn self. Look at yourself, black man. Those kids are acting the way they are because they see you act the way they are. See, they're not going to do what you say. They're going to do what you do. If you're making it big because you was a drug dealer, who you think they're going to idolize? The drug dealer. Hence, let me look at Hollywood. Who was the best, who was the best wise person in Hollywood? They always put a drug dealer there. Just want to get loved or something because y'all ain't validated. So in all reality, you gangsters, you thugs, you ballers, you all of y'all, all of y'all are have low self-esteem and so insecure that you need something physical to validate you. When a real man is validated only by his confidence, by his confidence, by and by his convictions, and by you brothers out there sitting up there bragging because y'all been in upstate for five years, fifteen years and stuff, and bragging about it, you're still looking for validation. It's time for you brothers to stop with your shit and man the heck up because it's going to be really really dangerous out there and all your thuggish experience and all the survival things that you think that you have is going to be no more at all so this is a really wake up reality check for you brothers who love to brag about it and black women you gotta understand these thugs and them once it's hit hard you're gonna you're gonna really see that these thugs and them don't have your heart and in, in their interest at all because they're gonna revert back to what they do most and what did they do most black women 
care only about themselves because they didn't give a damn about their community in the first place. But we all know majority of them is in prison because of y'all. So y'all share half of that. My grandmother even told me that. Half of the niggas I seen the grave and in, and, and, and in prison is there because of a black woman. I want to, I don't want everybody to think about that. You know, I want to hear your feedback, your hate mail, everything. You know, please support uh, the citizen journalists. People want to make a change in the community. You know, a lot of time people say, "Well, what have you doing?" I'm doing it. You hearing the message? No change. I work with you. Let's dialogue. Let's talk. All right. So till then. Till then, I'm the raw truth coming at you with this video. Peace out, everyone. Peace.